What's going on guys? Roger here with QVO Tactical. We are here in studio with a different kind of video for you today. Uh, we're actually gonna be talking about holsters, uh, but not our holsters. As you guys know, I own QVO Tactical here in Las Vegas and we specialize in custom Kydex and gear. However, the holster that we don't make is an active duty style retention holster. And this is one from Safari Land, a holster that I've actually been waiting like on the better side of a decade for. Um, this is their new ALS holster designed to accommodate five inch 2011 or double stack 1911s with weapon lights and optics. So what I have for you guys here in studio today because I posted this on Instagram and I got flooded with comments asking, hey, does it fit this model? Does it fit that model? Does it fit this model? So today I brought out every single 1911, 2011 that I have that would fit this setup and we're gonna go over all of them for you guys. And then we're also gonna show you how the ALS mechanism works in relation to your draw uh, with how the thumb safety and everything works on the 1911 platform. So without further ado guys, let's jump into it. Um, first off, I'm gonna read you guys the exact SKU and then we'll bring it out here on screen so you guys can uh, find it for yourselves. And I'll also break down how I order these from the Safari Land website. I get a lot of comments about, hey, Safari Land's website is so hard to use or so hard to navigate. I think the complete opposite. They have a holster configurator. You input your options of what you want and they bring you up what they have. I think it's pretty, pretty awesome actually. But the SKU that I am using, uh, that I purchased, it is their model 6354, so 6350 54 RDSO-2582-701-MS19. dash dash That is for a five inch 2011 Staccato X300 Ultra. Um, I think I selected on the website the Aimpoint Acro version, but it says here it's the RMR version. So we will check that out here in a second. But it also accommodates uh, a multitude of uh, optics and as well as uh, different weapon lights, everything from the Streamlight, TLA, uh, Streamlight TLR uh, HL all the way to the Surefire X300 Ultra and the Turbo, which you're gonna see here in a second. <clears throat> All right, with that out of the way, let's get into the first one. Uh, you might be asking yourself, why do you want a five inch 2011 holster? Well, Safari Land, when they started making staccato holsters as 2011s have become really popular due to uh, staccato coming out with like pretty much essentially the duty uh, 2011, they made a holster for the staccato P 4.4 inch. Now what was cool about this is that you could finally have an optic ready ALS holster for your 2011, but staccato uh, after their ballistic testing found that they were finding the, uh, the best results with the 4.4 inch barrel. So Safari Land made a 4.4 inch holster. Um, they were, in my opinion, they're like how Glock is the apple of the uh, gun industry. I feel like Safari Land's the apple um, of the holster business because they made this specifically to accommodate only the 4.4 inches. So if you had, you know, a different manufacturer that was making say like a five inch model, like maybe the Springfield Prodigy, it wasn't going to work in the 4.4 inch model because of this plug and screw. Now you could undo the screw, remove the plug, heat it up and modify it, but not all of us wanna do that. So what has Safari Land now done? They made the five inch version, which is gonna work with all of these across the board. So like before, the Staccato P, RMR Surefire X300, the 4.4 inch barrel is gonna go in the five inch model just fine and come out good to go can use it just like how Safari Land did with their Glock series. Um, if you're gonna buy a Glock holster, always buy it for the Glock 34, which is the largest gun with a Surefire X300 and optic, because that's gonna work for all of the different Glocks in nine and 40. Same thing is now holds true if you get this holster, the five inch Takato 2011 holster with optic and weapon light, it's pretty much gonna work for the majority of the 1911 double stack 1911s and 2011s on the market that are running optics and weapon lights or not even optics. We'll check out this five inch, uh, very rare 2011 here that doesn't have an optic cut in a second. So, Staccato P, RMR, Surefire X300, good to go. Uh, now, what I really wanted it for was this right here. This is my Staccato XC with an Acro, uh, Aimpoint Acro P2 and a Surefire X300 Ultra. This is actually the duty version of an XC uh, where it's got more of a Staccato P um, trigger and a staccato P spring. So still super smooth, but it is not so light um, that the slide can come out of battery easily like the uh, other, the standard staccato XC, which I have here all done up. So people are thinking, would you ever carry this on duty? Uh, Chino PD out in California, a buddy of mine out there, he actually is authorized to carry this on duty. Their department lets them carry this gun in this configuration. So he is somebody who might want 
this holster. Or if you're somebody in security work, or if you like to open carry, not something we recommend, but if you are going to do it, we think you should be using uh, a dual style retention holster. So XC, Acro, Aimpoint P2, Aimpoint Acro P2, and X300, good to go, comes out when you want it. And we'll go outside and hook us up on a belt and do some draws for you. Drawing like this is always going to be a little more awkward than drawing from your, um, your hip where, your, where the gun should be. And I want to talk about how the ALS mechanism here, how this works in relation um, to the thumb safety on the 1911 or 2011. So XC. You now have a duty holster ready to go. For all of you guys out there doing the tactical games and you have to do that rope climb or do anything inverted, this is the holster you're gonna wanna go with. Uh, our buddies over at Bull Armory reached out and were like, hey, does it fit our stuff? Well, I have the 4.25 inch TAC comp with the compensator on here, it actually makes it five inches and I have the SRO on here. Previously, the RDS holsters from Safariland did not accommodate the SRO because it was so far forward. Um, some situations you can see here, it's actually over the ejection port. So in the new Staccato five inch, look at that, boom. Bull Armory five inch model or a 4.25 with the comp making it five inch and the Trojicon SRO. Good to go there, isn't going anywhere, comes out when you want it to. Uh, the reason I said earlier we're gonna get outside and show you guys the ALS thumb lever in relation to safety. It seems that it's changed a little bit, just very slight <clears throat> to where sometimes now when you're engaging, um, especially holding it here and not at my hip, uh, I'm missing the safety. So we're gonna get out on the range or outside, I'm actually in my backyard, we're not gonna go to the range today and see if that's just an angle um, of how I'm holding it here or if it's actually something where they modified the holster to where now the ALS doesn't allow your thumb to line up. Uh, moving on. One of the builds that we're gonna have coming up here is a Staccato uh, C2 with the Parker Mountain Machine compensator. So it brings it to like a 4.9 inch barrel length. That too, boom, good to go, works, comes out. I had a uh, question on uh, Instagram. Um, hey, I have a Triarch, does it work because of their serrations here and everything and how they have uh, the uh, cornered off angles, is it gonna affect ALS retention because ALS is a little lever that comes down on the ejection port. Happy to say, you have a Triarch, this is their commander length, but you have the government length, they're both gonna work as it's a five inch. So good to go there. So, you Triarch guys out there still rocking these, you're gonna be good to go as well. Now, Springfield Prodigy, this was recently released. It is a five inch government length, um, double sack 1911. And now, you have a duty holster for it. Good to go over there as well. Uh, somebody asked, hey, I have a C2. Again, so this would be the equivalent if you have this holster in like a Glock 34 version, you're putting a Glock 19, same thing. Five inch Takato, um, what is this? Uh, C2 four inch with a TLR7A and a 509T. Good to go is there as well. Isn't coming out, goes in. So kind of the one and done holster in regards to your double stack 1911, uh, double stack 1911, 2011 needs. Here is my OG Springfield TRP operator. This was my duty gun on patrol. And here we go, boom. Nice. Goes in, locks in, comes out just as easy. And got a five inch uh, 2011 right before they started doing the switch from STI to Staccato. So this is non-optic five inch model. Boom, without the optic, you're still gonna be good to go. And then last but not least, my favorite right here. This is my XC setup for competition. Um, it's got extended safeties, double alpha, like ledge safeties, extended ledge. Um, and then it also has a Chili metal grip here. So for you guys wondering, hey, I got a metal grip on my gun. Still good to go, running it with the SRO. So uh, if you guys have questions down below, uh, make sure to let us know. Like I said, we're gonna hop outside and kind of get some B-roll and I'll talk about, I'm gonna be able to hook up our COD mount, I believe to where you guys will be able to see as I'm drawing how the um, ALS lever hits the thumb safety. So we'll head out and do that here in a second. And then I'll also equip one of these guns with the uh, Hollow Sun 507 comp because I did have a question about that in regards to fitting uh, inside the Safari Land holster. So uh, let's head out there and do that. All right guys, out here in the backyard, just gonna get a few draws. Um, I just wanna see how everything's working, you know, just how smooth and at speed. 
comes out easily. I'm hitting the safety on the draw with the ALS lever. Uh, what's nice is where the ALS is positioned for your thumb, it works really well for 1911s and 2011s because it allows your thumb to fall right onto the safety. Uh, a couple of my buddies were talking to me about, hey, have you noticed like when, where the thumb lever's at when you're coming out, you're, you're missing the safety and coming under. Um, I did notice that when I'm holding, let me slide this off here. I did notice it when I'm holding the holster out here like this and drawing from it, I can miss it. But at the same time, that's not the same angle that it's on when it's here on the belt. When it's here on the belt, the, the holster is angled a little, uh, canted a little forward so that when I come out, it actually is hitting no problems. So I'll bring in some close up here to show you guys what I'm talking about exactly. Uh, but in addition to that, one of the things I did notice, uh, again, I'll bring it in close up here. Um, on the Safari Line holsters, they put a lot of plastic, a lot of kydex there between where the slot is for the ALS mechanism and the top of the holster. I typically end up dremeling and sanding that down and making it a little more minimal. That way there's no issue at all when I draw and my thumb hitting. But for right now, guys, even with the speed draw, fast draw, my thumb's landing right on that safety where it's supposed to, and I'm able to uh, use the gun properly. So uh, if you guys are looking for a duty style retention holster, again, Safari Land, like I don't think you can do any better than them. They've been in it for a long time. It's what I use my, my whole uh, LE career. All right, guys, so the other thing that I wanted to address was the Safari Land website. Um, I know, again, we've gotten comments and questions about like, hey, the site is so hard to use. What's the SKU number? Uh, again, I find it easy to use. The first thing I'm going to do, I'll bring up my screen here for you on my iPad. Uh, you go to safariland.com, and then at the top, you will click on Holster Finder. Once you click on that, it's going to load the next screen. You'll select Pistol. Manufacturer for this is going to be Staccato. And then the model you're going to select is the X XC. That is their five inch barrel length model. You'll hit continue. You're gonna to wanna to select, uh, select yes. You are using a uh, optic on the slide. What type of optic? I went with the large closed emitter option. That way it'll accommodate all of the ones on the market. Yes, you use a light on this firearm. I went all the way down here and selected the Surefire X300 Ultra, not the V. I don't know why it's loading the V and not the Ultra. There we go. Then you hit show me the holster. It confirms all of your options. You say, got it, and here we go. They have a new cryptic one that's out right now. Um, I chose to go with the 6354 RDSO and multi-cam. It's a fabric overlay they offer. And then here, it is all set up. You just need to select right or left-handed. After you select what pattern you want, you can do it in black or in uh, multi-cam. Then right-handed, finish is Cordura and then hard shell, there you go. Holster is gonna be $233 at the time of this video. I believe they have their Labor Day sale going on, um, but that looks like it's only for seven TS holsters. So you're gonna be looking at 200 plus bucks. But again, that holster is going to do everything that you want it to do um, in regards to 1911 or double stack 2011s. Hi right, guys, back here in studio and as promised, I have now set up my Staccato XC competition build, but with the Hollow 7 507 competition. Pretty fitting, being a competition optic. Um, and here is that Safari Land 5 inch Staccato holster. Good to go, locks in place. It's coming out until I want it to. And uh, you can see here the covering on the holster covers the optic just nice well protected inside there so guys uh it's gonna wrap up this video if you have any questions or comments leave them down below we will address them for you um and yeah i wanted to make this video there's a lot of questions for you guys uh you know i know we own a holster company but in my opinion um this is the way to go if you're looking for a duty style retention holster we don't make those and i've been rocking safari land it's 2023 now so literally for 20 years um, in my opinion they are the go-to when it comes to duty style active retention holsters um, i was always curious to why they didn't make this holster so much uh, longer ago considering they have the five inch you know glock 34 holster which accommodates all of the glock generations below that the uh, different sizes 19 17 i didn't get why they didn't do the same thing for staccato but now that they have it is out there definitely go get yourself one and uh yeah if you guys have any questions leave them down below we appreciate you checking out the video definitely like it subscribe do all that jazz um, as always appreciate you watching we'll see you in the next one